this video, we are going to show you how to create a manual test. Go and click on the Home button. Then click on Quality Module. What you will see now is a few tabs, one Overview with some reports, one Application Modules, one Tests, one Features, and one Defects. We will focus now on Tests. On the upper left side you can see there is a, a plus for manual tests and we are going to click here to create a new one. What will pop up is a additional little window which will show you fields that can be filled out. We can also go and ask to see only the fields which are required and that's on the upper right part. And you can see the only required field is the name field. If I want to see all fields, I can click on the Show All Fields button and that will show me everything. If I want to, like to customize fields, I can go in here. I can add and remove new fields. So let me add, for example, Owner field. And what we will do is we'll add this field in the more section so you can see the owner field has now been added as you can see there are groupings which we can collapse to see with less and just use with what or display what we use let's now enter a name for this test manual test login to application so we're going to test the login. I have a possibility to create or define a test type. I can also add additional test types if not everything can be found in the list that you see here. We have the duration, which we can add uh, how long such a test will take. I can now also define, define which um, requirement or user story defect feature is linked to that. This can also cover several user stories or features. And you can see, I can click here and add some. The same thing applies also for the application modules. Also here, I can add one or more, but it's also not required in this case. Then I can add a description. And with the description, I also can add images. And I'm now going to keep it simple and just add the, or define the man and login to application as my name. And I'm going to click Add and Edit to add some manual steps. Let me add the first one. And you can see here I have a menu which allows me to add different things. And I'm going just to add st a step. Let me say Open Application. And I'm going to add another one. Enter username and password. Click login. And now I would like to validate if my login was successful. So I'm going to add a validation step. Okay. And here I would say login successful. And then add another normal step, which would be logout. Okay. I can now save these steps. I will do that. And I want to quickly show you the different views you have. You have once the visual editor, which we just use now. You has all. You also have the text editor. Text editor is um, slightly different because it's more on a text basis and you can see how the different test steps are defined and then also how the validation step and the step for the validation step is defined with the question mark. Both 
the views can be used to create and, and change um, um, your tests. I'm switching back to the visual editor and I want to quickly um, now show you one feature of the versions. And that's here. And you can see I have different revisions of what was done. And if I now add one little step, add step, say close application, and I save that again, you will see that Octane is storing the changes, and I can even have a compare view of that. So you can see the difference between my revision 2 and my revision 3. To execute and run and plan tests, we're going to have another video. Thanks for listening.